My name is Vanessa Sanchez and I've been uh, with Development Gateway for 10 years now, counting. I'm based in Dakar and I oversee EG's operation in the West African region with a focus on Francophone countries. Extractive industry sector is a sector dealing with the extraction of mineral resources in the country. And we focus more on the oil and gas sector as well as on the mining sector. So our vision with the idea um, to implement portals at country level was mainly to streamline the whole EITI reconciliation process to reduce the delay in the information that was included in EITI reports, a delay that was close to two years in, in some countries allowing the national secretariats to provide stakeholders with up-to-date and timely data. In partnership with OSIWA, who's the organization supported those assessments, different EITI countries, they require to have a commitment letters to basically confirm uh, not only the need for them to have such, such a tool, but to confirm their commitment to implement and use this tool at country level. We see what advised that we actually start with the feasibility study and objective of those studies were really to measure all countries readiness to actually open data on the extractive activities taking place in their countries. So prior to the assessments, we basically developed guidelines to help DG's research teams when they are in countries they included also the flexibility to be adapted to a given situation. So we, we developed those guides and the methodology that we use for these assessments was mainly one-in-one -in -one interviews with actors in the extractive industries. The way the assessment methodology was structured was really interesting in the sense that it allowed us to talk to the stakeholders directly and really understand their needs and what kind of information will be useful for them. We started the assessment actually to confirm that countries can use a little bit of help in streamlining their EITI reconciliation process, not only to, to give timely data to the stakeholders, but also to make sure that in line with what EITI standard is requiring, that the information is easy to use and easy to understand as well. However, when we went in country, we realized that that need was there, but that there were bigger needs actually. And all the bigger needs converged towards the, the express needs to have access to more disaggregated data not only on the financial flow of EI revenues, but we had a growing interest from non-state actors, civil society actors, the citizen and the communities who wanted to be able to have access to data on the impact of the extractive activities, whether it's the impact on their environment, health and education sectors, but also on gender. I remember one of my interviews with a big civil society organization and their representative asked me, how do they want us to advocate to have more women in the sector or to protect the women when we don't even know at this point how many women are working in our private companies. We don't have access to any data that will help us at least trigger discussion and debate around the gender question in the EI sector. Our main finding is we, we are at the stage now where collecting data is, is not enough anymore. The stakeholders and especially again, the non-state actors want and express the need to have access to something else. They want to be able to have access to the information that will help them advocate towards protecting the environment of the neighboring communities, make sure that the kids have a proper education environment, make sure that the communities have access to acceptable health facilities and services. 
and they want to make sure that they know not only how many women are working in private companies, but they want to know if the private sector corporate efforts are in line with what the community really needs and if they also try to put an emphasis on women empowerment and that their rights are protected. So all that is to say that basically changed my whole view of the national portals that at first I envision as being a simple data collection tool, but they need to be tools that will be able to display the impacts on the economy, on the environment, on gender, and on communities' well-being in general.